Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you Welling Management System project. You can use this project in the cafe shop for the Welling purpose. This one is a window based application project. So in this, in this I'm using NetBeans ID, MySQL database and JFrame. Uh, let me run this file. And I'm also create, going to create videos on this set how I just created this project. So stay tuned with us and please hit like and subscribe my channel. This one is our login page. Here you can see the two text fields. And the first one is for the username and another one is for the password. I just set the username as BMS and the password is admin. When we enter incorrect username and password, it will show a pop-up message for the incorrect username and password. Let me write the incorrect BM and here I'm just writing admin. Let me show the password. When you click on this checkbox, it will display the password. Like uh, the username is incorrect. When we click or try to log in, it will display the message incorrect username or password. Okay, let me click on and here I'm just writing S and let me click on login. Move to the home page. This one is our home page. Here you can see only one button. But when you click on this button, it will make visible so many buttons one by one. You can say that I'm using animation. No, I'm just uh, slowing the thread. I will explain you each and everything in my upcoming videos that how I just created this project. Okay. So uh, this one is my uh, is the new buyer details. Here you can see the new buyer. The first thing is the first you have to take the name of that user like a uh, buyer you can say the name I'm just taking is uh, Amit we are taking Amit okay and the contact number I'm just taking here 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 1 2 3 okay and here I'm taking Amit at the rate gmail dot com okay uh, and the address I'm taking Greater Noida okay u dot up dot sorry India okay uh, there is also a section of gender I am just taking the gender section like uh, uh, the some products is only for the females so if we want to new level to uh, send some message for that reason we just take this section okay uh, let me click on save it will show a pop up message successfully updated when we click on this this page get refreshed and you can enter new details of the new buyer okay now close this like you also want to update details of some buyer like they want to change a user contact number you can email and anything then here you can change the details like i already registered the amit kumar you can see searched like here i'm just writing kumar singh i'm changing and here I'm just writing Amit X31. Okay, I'm just saving it. Click save. You get a successfully updated message. When you click on OK, you can see. And this is all, like we entered the incorrect contact number and search. It will show a pop up message contact number does not exist. Okay, when we click on OK, there's also a button of refresh. You can see here. When we click on this, it will refresh our page. Let me close this and the next is pub buyer details here here you can see the all the details of buyers here you can see that sort of god of amit sumit amit kumar singh I, I just registered this amit x31 you can see the name has updated and all you can see the details gender you can see mail 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 all and there's also a print button like uh, you want to get the details like uh, for the wires to update for something so, and you can click on the print it will open a print option from there you can uh, print that you can see that microsoft one works and you can see page setup you can change to the portrait to the landscape and reverse and in the in this way you can print this okay and when i click on print it started printing so i'm just canceling it and close this now you also want to delete some delete some buyers so for that here you just need to enter the number okay let me click on search you can see that amit kumar singh and the contact number 
and after when we click on search you cannot change the contact number so for in that case you just need to click on reset you can see changes now let me write this again okay let me click on search now i just want to delete this detail of this user so i am just clicking on delete it's asks because we are deleting that's uh, so it's asked do you really want to delete when we click on yes when we click on no it will not do anything when we click on yes it refreshes that page and again we are writing that same same contact number and click on search you can contact number does not exist so in this way you can handle any buyer okay in this four buttons you can handle any buyer like and this one is our new product uh, whenever the new product arrives, there is a get an option to add new product like i am adding 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 Addy, I'm just entering the rate 449, I guess, right? And running Sue's. Running Sue's. We are taking the description and activation status. Uh, I will explain you at the willing section why we use this, this activation status. Okay. When we click on save, it will update in our database. When we click on OK, and here you can see the product ID also, it will change to the 12. Let me click on OK. You can see it changes to the 12 and like we enter something and when we click on reset it also remove all the details but you can see the product id is still 12 because it's coming from our database okay that's why it's not increases when we refresh this let me close this after that this one is update product like you want to increase the increase the uh, price you can want to reduce price for that we can use product you want to change the name of that product like I already registered a 12 ID. You can see product ID does not exist. Okay. Let me enter 11. Here you can see that. ID I already registered. Like I just want to change this to the 500. Update. Let me click on update. Successfully updated. Let me click 11 again. Let me search. You can see ID 500 running status active. Activated means it will display in our billing section. If we set here no, it will not display at the billing section. Okay, I will explain you in the billing section part. Now, the next is product details. When we click on product details, it will display all the product details like the one, two, you can see all the details like uh, the rate, uh, the first one is table length, the rate is 345. You can see the description, activation status, and all you can see. Uh, let me deactivate one product. Like we are deactivating this, and here I'm just writing no. Okay, let me update. Successfully updated. Let me close this. Now, here you see that the product details. Here you can see the product ID 11 active, active status is no, and in the others, you can see the yes, 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 and all for others. Okay, let me close this. Now, the next is our read product. Let me click on this. Now, I just want to delete the product number 11. Let me search this. You can see all the details of that product. And when we click on delete, uh, you can see a pop-up message with the confirmation that do you really want to delete? When we click on no, it will not delete or you, you can say that it will not affect our database. When we click on yes, it will delete it. Okay, let me check it again, the product ID. You can see that product ID does not exist. Okay. And there is also a reset button when you click on this, it will clear all the fields in this J frame. This is this four buttons is all about uh, product, how to um, handle all. And then you can add new product, update product, product details here you can see and the, at last the pro delete product. Now, the main part of this project is billing. Let me Before open this, first let me show you. Here you can see the drive D is empty. When bill will generate it, it will store here. Okay, so let's start. Let me click on billing. Now, the first thing you can search any wire by their name. Just I just enter C G, and I am just pressing the button here. Enter. You can see all the details of that uh, user. You can see here contact number, email address, and you can see see the address. Okay, and let me change this. Change to the S, you can see still you can see the details of the contact number, email address, and all. 
Now you can also search any buyer by their name. One, two, three. I'm entering here. You can see. Let me change the detail to zero and enter. Here you can see that the details name of the buyer will also change. Email address change. Address also get maybe change. Okay. Now. Now we want to add some product. So for that, I'm just clicking one and entering, searching the first product. And there is also option to change the product quantity. So here I'm changing to the quantity to clicking on add. In this table, you can see all the details of that uh, product buy by the buyer. Okay, here you can see the table name, description, rate. Here you can see the quantity, and here you can the total, subtotal. You can say that. Uh, let me add new more products here. You can say two enter Here you can see that let me increase this to the five and when we click on add the total get increases and in this table one more Raw is added. Let me click on this. Here you can see that Adidas shoes. You can see the quantity quantity five eight thousand price here You can see that total. Okay, so in this way you can add the new product in, in, in this table Okay, like a paid amount the the buyer given the admin or you can see the user the five nine thousand rupees then here you can see the return amount has been calculated three one zero okay now now we have to generate a generate a here a bill so for that you just need to click on save you can see bill has bill generated let me okay you can see all get reset let me close this now I'm going to the drive E here you can see that the Saurav Kumar you can see on date also there is a PDF or you can say that bill has been generated let me open this okay okay here you can see the details BTEC days billing management system here you can see write the name of your shop after that you can add the contact number after contact number you can also add the address and all whatever you want you can add here okay I will explain you in the videos upcoming videos and here you can see the day, date, date and time of the bill generation time. Okay, and here you can see the buyer details. You can see the name, Shorab Kumar, contact number, email address, address. So you can see that. And after that, you can see the details of the product that buy by the buyer. You can see the table lamp rate. You can see the quantity, subtotal, and the shoes. You can see all the details. And here you can see the total amount. 8690 and the paid amount you can see 9000 and the return amount you can see 310 and at last you can write any message whatever you want and you can see this one is our final bill has been generated okay let me cut this now again moving to the this section and i just said you that i will explain you the activation concept okay so here you can like i just enter the search the one okay here you can see the activate is yes when I sit here, no, and update this, update successfully, then this will not visible, visible in our product ID section. Let me click on one. I'm entering the, pressing the button, but still I'm not able to get the details, product name, rate, quantity, and description because this one is not activated. When, uh, let me again change to the activated. Yeah, I'm setting yes okay update successfully updated okay let me close this moving to the billing section yeah, first I search for the product ID after that I'm just searching for one you can see the details of the product ID one you can see the rate and all uh, and all and the next button is for logout when we click on this it will ask to do you really want to log it when we click on yes it will move to the first uh, uh, login page and there's a close button you can see we can also click on e that to close this application let me click on logout and here you can see there's a close button when we click on this this will ask you really want to close you can just click on yes it will close your application okay so this is all about my billing system billing management system project i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel and i am also going to make more videos on this how I just created this project so stay tuned with us please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you